Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We would love to have you here on this healing journey. Now, uh, Tarot's about energy. We got high vibe, we got low vibe, we got those in the middle, no striving to be in the middle. Now, with that being said, know your place in this reading. If you feel like something isn't for you, if you feel like the energy is reversed, it very well may be, okay? It could apply to someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a boss, a grandmother, a past over loved one, a child, okay? All right, I want to say thank you to all that donate. Thank you to all that have booked with me. I am not taking any personal readings at this moment, okay? However, there is a link in the description box below where you can receive a free chart from a reputable site, no affiliation to me, okay? Also, my email address will be in the description box below. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. How this is going to go is I'm going to roll the dice and see uh, what sign Universal Life Force Source wants me to speak about, okay? Ether, show me what it is I need to see. All right, so. Um, damn, we just did, Leo. All right, so. They keep. This, this is the Sagittarius. <laughs> Uh, energy, all right? So I'm being told to do Sagittarius again. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe there's some new individuals that need to know what's going on specifically with Sagittarius, okay? So uh, this reading will be for those of you dealing with karmic Sagittariuses. Yes, your energy may come up in this reading, uh, rather, if you are karmic or not, you could be dealing with someone that has the same, um, I heard biological makeup. So for some of you, it's your family member that could be a Sagittarius that may have something to do with this reading. Okay. So what I see here is somebody is on the cusp. Okay. Some of you are on the cusp, uh, of, uh, Cancer and Leo. And I also see Libra and Virgo. So that could resonate, you know, if you're on a cups or, cups or not, you could definitely have those signs in your chart. All right, so we have nine. This is talking about you standing up on your own two feet. All right. Nine represents humanitarian work, work definitely. Some of you are being called to travel. Okay, Some, uh, somebody may have also been careless or reckless in their actions as well, okay? Somebody definitely has to take some responsibility for their actions, all right? Somebody needs to express themselves. If you were dealing with this uh, karmic Sagittarius, it was for you to learn how to express your individuality, yeah, this is a, a spiritual thing. All right, so, and then we have it, it comes out at six. So, yeah, this is speaking about restoring balances, um, restoring and balancing your chakras, your mental state. Okay. Some of you could be Tauruses or dealing with Tauruses. I see 333. Three, three. You may want to look that up. And see how that resonates with you. All right. Um, I do feel like someone needs to be grateful for what they have. You may have been dealing with someone that was not grateful. As a matter of fact, they may have been really greedy. This is somebody that doesn't thank source. Okay. They also look at people as being beneath them. Okay. Yeah. All right, this is going to be interesting here. Ethan, show me what it is I need to see for those dealing with karmic Sagittarius. This could be sun, moon, rising. 
Jupiter as well as Venus. And I'm also being told for someone to check their Mercury, okay? Um, Mercury is all about intellect. Some of you could also be a writer or someone could be writing information about you. And what we have here is the Hierophant, um, which is Taurus energy and, uh, okay, the Fool card, Aries Aquarius energy. Someone uh, went to seek wise counsel, okay, or um, you could be a tarot reader, I'm hearing. Somebody could have got a reading from you and this person didn't listen, okay? It's kind of like... Um, you may have gotten a reading from someone that wasn't quite a believer, but now they are. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Because somebody is um, having some severe karma right now, okay? But the moon card here, we do have the blue moon coming up August 22nd, which is also the Sturgeon full moon. OK, again, I'm going to keep talking about that because this is a day where a lot of these cults um, do mass rituals. OK, things happen mysteriously. This could also have something to do with a cancer, a Pisces. And I do hear Scorpio as well. Yeah. And here we have it. Black magic, slander, gossip. OK, so this is a confirmation for you to protect yourself. There are people planning on doing rituals, mass rituals, and I do, I do uh, hear tarot readers, and and this is some of you are YouTubers or you have personal platforms, okay, apps and things of that sort. Um, you may not know that you are intertwined with people that practice these nefarious things, these do these things um, to gain energy, to gain um, her fandom. I don't know if somebody's a gamer or not, but okay. So somebody needs to have courage to speak up. This person could have Leo in their chart. You might want to check out the Leo reading that I did yesterday, as well as the Sagittarius that I did yesterday. Okay. I see my eye and they're saying, I know what you did last summer. So it might not have been something uh, necessarily last summer, but for some of you, it was someone uh, was involved in separating a relationship, a divine uh, partnership. Okay, so here we have the high priestess. Some of you went to the wrong council. I'm just going to keep it um, clear. Okay, this could be you or your person. Somebody went to, I heard a prophetess. Okay, this is somebody that's in the church. This is somebody that, that knows the Bible uh, back and forth, but they have no connection to source, as you can see, the veil is not thin, it's foggy, it's clouded, okay? So this is someone that gave you um, a distorted view. This is someone that focuses on tradition rather than spirituality, which is nothing wrong with that. But if you are on the path of ascension, you have to let those old beliefs go because they're hindering you some sort of way. OK, so somebody was a third party in this situation or you could be a third party in a situation. Someone was used as a trophy. I also heard constellation prize. This person could have moon in Aquarius or they could have hid this third party from you. OK. So somebody's going to discover something that was uh, hidden for some of you. It's been a while. Okay. But that's what I need to know about this. All right. So an ending. Okay. So somebody is coming down um, off of a high. Okay. Now this could be an actual drug high or this can be a self, um, um, her self-inflicted wound that I don't know if that's going to resonate um, for some of you, uh, a lot. Uh, okay. Somebody has a passed over relative trying to communicate with them. Okay. Some of you may be having dreams about deaths. Okay. Or near death experiences for some of you. You could have also been in a car accident where you had some sort of near death experience. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or a Pisces, but this is talking about, um, the underworld. Okay. Some of you may have participated in a ritual um, that had to do with the underworld. Okay, calling on, yeah, third party, third party, fourth party. Somebody was involved in some mental manipulation. Doesn't necessarily have to be black magic, but this is an entanglement, okay? This is putting distorted views of someone or a spiritual practice, okay? Like, um, like I'm, I'm hearing the witch hunt. 
okay? So somebody, you know, threw dirt on your name, threw, threw salt on your name, okay? They could also went to a practitioner and lied to you, uh, lied to them, okay? It heard to you. So some of you could be practitioners watching this. Know that you did um, get yourself involved in an entanglement where you encountered a high priestess or uh, someone, and I'm just going to keep it honest, with more authority than you, and you cursed yourself. Somebody took payment uh, to end something, okay? So Sagittarius and the Capricorn reading was talking about uh, death rituals, okay? Somebody is protected. Somebody knows how to heal themselves, okay? You are the, ma the Magi or the ma are uh, the magician here, okay? Someone felt like they could play on your vulnerability here, okay? All right. Some, yeah. Someone took from you to give to another, okay? And I heard it's a family cult. What else do I need to know? Okay, so you could be an Aries or a Taurus, or this could have something to do with the business owner. This could also have something to do with um, the government, okay? Um, yeah. Someone was trying to send some distorted energy or give a distorted view of you or someone that you're thinking of, okay? I feel like whoever this is, they didn't listen to the psychic. Okay. They may have went to the church and asked the church affiliate about something. Okay. They could also be, uh, in between like, uh, Ascension. Okay. Um, having a, a rude awakening here. Okay. Somebody didn't listen to a psychic. Okay. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. Somebody is also on the run. Check out Leo reading or they're hiding. Okay. They're trying to hide their involvement in something. You may be sensing this with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio situation. All right. Um, we also have the Hermit card, which is Virgo. There's a cycle completing. All right. Somebody, uh, and what I'm getting is, I'm just going to keep it honest. Somebody's planning to travel and do some harm to someone. And, and if that is the case with Saturn being here, this is saying, uh -uh, you better not do it. All right. You're a Sagittarius that you're trying to do some harm to someone. You're trying to pay someone to have harm did to someone. This could also be somebody that is on the cusp of, uh, what is this, Capricorn, um, Sagittarius and Capricorn. Okay. They could be uh, intertwined in some sort of cult. This could have been happening for three or four years here. All right. Somebody definitely has sun in the Leo that has something to do with this. Whether if you were a participant in it or you were on the um, the ass end of karma, okay? Yeah, yeah. Somebody definitely wanted to take this emperor's place, okay? So whoever this Leo is, they did participate in trying to take someone's identity or trying to uh, mask themselves as a divine masculine. That's what I'm hearing. Or a divine feminine, Okay. And here we have the Temperance card. There's definitely going to be a Sagittarius that comes and sees this reading that is dealing with someone that is trying to mimic you. Okay. This is a Sagittarius that is a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Okay. You may have stepped back and, and healed, uh, tried to heal yourself. This is Taurus uh, Libra energy okay yeah definitely Taurus Libra energy this is a real divine feminine here uh, someone tried to seal someone's fate okay this could also be a Sagittarius that is a divine feminine you walked away you chose yourself okay some of you are choosing to leave like um, a religious organization some sort of scandal is coming out with Jupiter being here this is Sagittarius energy as well as Pisces okay so somebody is leaving um, some distorted view, some some illusion that was placed upon upon them from tradition. Okay, I heard earthly goods with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Oh yeah, somebody took payment to hex someone, or they were involved in some sort of uh, um, specifically a money meditation. Okay, um, and didn't realize they were in a cult and they. We're basically putting someone at the stake to be sacrificed here, okay? So it has to be an energy exchange, okay? 
somebody is also worried about going to jail. So this is why this person is on the run with uh, justice being here. Um, Taurus, I mean, uh, yeah, well, it's definitely a Taurus that's on the run here. So um, this will be Libra energy. Okay. This person could also have Aquarius, Gemini in their chart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have a child's mother or your mother. Okay. Or you could be this karmic mother watching this. Okay. That try to, uh, I'm, I'm hearing get someone set up here with the justice system. Okay. So somebody has something to do, a mother or a mother, a child's mother has something to do with some slander towards someone. All right. This is also someone that may have filed a report. OK, or they went to some sort of practitioner and lied on someone and cursed and cursed someone. OK, whoever this practitioner is, they um, ended up receiving a lot of karma business slowed down for them because they accepted payment to um, hex or jinx a divine being. You can't do that. All right. So what I'm hearing is somebody in this karmic uh this mother, okay, someone in that person's family passed away. It could have been a Scorpio, but it um, necessarily uh, doesn't have to be. But there was definitely an ending that took place, okay? So, all right, um, why is Pisces here? Yeah, so, yeah, this is definitely about someone's mother, or a child's mother that took payment from a high priestess. All right. We have leadership here sticking up. Uh, someone needs to definitely clear their name here. This has something to do with the root, uh, with root, with the roots. Okay. With roots. I did hear the dirty South again. All right. So this has something to do with someone that has ancestors in the South, or you could possibly be from the South. You could be a Taurus. Why is Pisces here? <laughs> All right. So whoever this Pisces is or a Taurus, I'm hearing, okay, try to, to cause a faded situation in this child's mother, this, this child's mother or, um, your mother, it, it's going to resonate different. Okay. Somebody's tried to send some distorted energy towards this cancer, but it doesn't necessarily have to be tried to cause an ending. Okay. This is something that was faded. All right. So what that means is it's about accountability, accountability or responsibility. All right. So somebody's karma is to, and if you get mad about it, I really don't care. You say whatever you want. I'll just block you and erase your comment. Just don't mean anything. And I'm also being told if you had anything to do with any type of spell work, okay, against me, I'm not going to say any other divine being because you, if you come in here, you need to know what your karma is. Okay. There's a lot of people was coming to me in the beginning. And this is why I stopped doing individual signs because they were using my readings to cast spells on people. Okay. And they got so comfortable with it that they even did spell work to keep my channel from growing so they can continue to use my energy. There's karma for that too. All right. So we have a cancer that's coming out of some sort of illusion, or this could also be um, a Pisces using their intuition about a child's mother. Okay. You may have let this person go. Okay. If you're watching this, this is something that was faded. This is some, something that you, someone you have a child with. Okay. This person could have also passed away. I'm getting food cart. Why is the food cart here? Yep. <laughs> the end of the row. Karma. Pisces energy with the 12th house. You may also need to check your 12th house. Some of you are dealing with the Aries or a, an Aquarius. Um, this, they, this may be in their Venus. They may also have Cancer in their Venus as well as Pisces in their uh, Venus. Check your Venus sign. Okay. So this is about self-love with it being here on the chair. Somebody did not have good discernment. Okay. This person, uh, trauma bonds, they get with people that they feel they can control. 
All right. This person could also end up going to jail if they are not in jail. Somebody also has a secret lover in jail. I'm being told the 12th house represents hidden enemies secrets, self undoing, people trying to cover up the things that they did in the past, but karma is here and it's not going to happen. Somebody has very strong faith. You kept going or you're being told to keep going. All right. Especially if you are an Aquarius, you may be getting signs to leave this person. Somebody's under severe judgment at this very moment. Okay. For their, um, de dealings in this situation, OK, it could be an Aquarius, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Somebody tried to stop someone's vision, tried to uh, mentally manipulate them. This is someone that knew you had gifts possibly before you even did. This is also somebody um, that may have, uh, I'm hearing, talked about you um, getting tarot reading readings. If you are a tarot reader, this person could have talked about you in the community. OK, this is something that was hidden from you. They could have also hit a third party, a child's mother. I'm getting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So somebody's wishes is being granted. Jupiter represents the will of fortune. OK, so this is also uh, speaking about karma. Aquarius, uh, in a sense, uh, I'm reading this as a tower. OK, but Aquarius is also the food card. OK, so somebody who's very foolish in their actions, uh, partnering, partnering up. This could be business with, uh, yeah, definitely business. This is a, a legal business deal for some of you. This is something that was done in the past. You may not know about it. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever this comes up or any other reading that comes up on your timeline, I suggest you look at it, okay, because it could be beneficial for you. Some of you are dealing with uh, somebody that may have Sagittarius in the South Node as well, or you could have Sagittarius in the South Node or the 12th house, okay? So this is things of that you didn't know about your family, okay, with the South here. This is, I'm getting the dirty South. All right. Somebody uh, needs to stop listening to their family. I'm just going to keep it 100. Why is Leo here? Why is Leo here? I'm hearing that's not your family. Why is Leo here? Oh, I fell on the floor. Virgo. <laughs> All right. So Virgo came out. Virgo came out and this is my magician card. Okay. Um, this could also signify the hermit card, somebody uh, pulling their energy back, trying to figure out what was going on. So this could be somebody that was under spell work. All right. So all of this is coming out. This person could have a Virgo son. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff coming out. All right. So we have Pluto, the need for control. So somebody had a lot of gumph, uh, you know, to do things behind your back. Possibly this Leo. You could be a Scorpio. You could be doing this to this Leo. It's going to resonate different. Somebody wants to communicate, but I'm hearing that you got them blocked. All right. This person was very obsessive, controlling, argumentative. All right. They uh, lied on this divine feminine and this divine masculine to keep you apart. This person knew that you were a twin. They also, with the temperance card here, casted spells to keep you from not healing. OK, some of you need to move away from this individual. Yeah, this is saying you need to learn your lesson with the third house here. Somebody needs to check their third house in their sixth house, okay, and see what is in that. This is about you learning how to communicate what you want, what you need, all right? Stepping back and nurturing yourself with the moon card. There's also, this work has been hidden, okay, because somebody got halted in their, um, they got halted in their their process here to to grow to ascend by the people that was around them why is pluto here all right this is too long we're gonna stop so yeah reflection be mindful of people coming to you um reflecting their insecurities on you you could be uh empath okay reflection yeah somebody's trying to blame someone for a death OK, yeah, this person is determined to blame someone for a death. OK, this person is also um, 
not at peace is because they they are reflecting their insecurities. They're trying to make someone a scapegoat when it was really them. Okay. Yeah, this person idolizes you. They watch you, whether if you know it or not, or you watch this person. This person has a secret love. I heard infinity. Yeah, they're frustrated because they're watching you uh, and they're wondering why wow. their magic is not working in cancer. Flow. Yeah, somebody needs to go with the flow. You may need to connect with some water. Yeah. <laughs> so this is somebody that did an isolation spell or tried to. Okay. Some of you got disturbed in the middle of the night. You may have woken up out of a dream. All right. Um, that's your body telling you that somebody's messing with you. I heard messing with your intellect. My bad. Some of you may receive some healing information uh, today. You could also have someone visit your home. All right. Um, I'm being told to let you know that this isolation, okay, you could be a Cancer, you could be a Pisces, you could be anybody in this reading, especially if you are a child's mother, if you are male, um, this is saying to trust your intuition, okay? Some of you need to stop drinking or partying so much, okay? Because this is not um, that, okay? This is not that time. This time is a healing time. It's time for you to go out and um, go out, go in, go within and figure out what's going on. OK, somebody definitely could be trying to astral project into your dreams. Know that that is being blocked. OK, some of you found a way to block that energetically. OK, yeah, with space and anxiety. So this is somebody that is tapped in. OK, whatever forces that they're using to tap in, they may be more knowledgeable about these nefarious acts because they spend a lot of time studying it. Why is Venus here? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, somebody, um, you know, you cannot listen. Okay. Especially if you are Aquarius, um, you know, you cannot, uh, listen, you know, but it's only going to do more harm. It's going to keep you in a karmic cycle. Some of you believe that somebody is your twin or something like that. And they're not, they're like a karmic soulmate. They're sent for you to learn lessons. Okay. So it's kind of like you're going against God. You're going to get your own intuition. You need to use your intuition about this partnership uh, coming up for some of you is coming up. Okay. Uh, for others of you, somebody may be going against family or tradition to follow um, their flame. Okay, this this flame could be a passion in the business or this could actually be a person. Yeah. Yeah. For, for okay, now for majority of you, again, you're going to have to use your intuition about this partnership that you are struggling. Okay. Spirit said you're struggling to keep... Um, keep it together. Uh, and, and it's like you, you're working against yourself. So somebody's going to end up picking up some, um, whoever this counterpart is, that's karma. You're going to end up picking up their karma. If you continue to take this person back and they're very confident. Okay. So with this black space here, this is somebody that keeps you in the dark or keeps you, they say in the cut. OK, so somebody keeps somebody in the cut, whether if it's you or someone else, they always have uh, someone else that they could call on. OK, there's no growth in uh, in this situation, even though this person may make you believe that it is. All right. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you later.